All right, guys, Ian Anderson, Paul Ulibarri, bringing a little coverage of the Altagusa Open. We are at Maltagusa Disc Golf Park in Estonia, Paul. How was your trip, man? Oh, it was awesome, man. I, lo I love Estonia. Um, not to make other countries mad at me, but I think it might be my favorite, my favorite of all the European countries so far. <laughs> nice, man. You do some fun stuff besides disc golf while you're out there? Oh, yeah, man. The, uh, you know, the people that I was staying with, uh, Martin... Roy Meister showed me a really good time. We ran a few clinics and and stuff. So yeah, I got to see the you know a lot of the countryside. Awesome, man. Well, here we are looking at our final round league card, and this is hole one. Tell us what we're doing. Hole one, par three, four hundred twenty nine feet. Uh, really, the only trouble is left, and obviously the distance plays a factor, being slightly uphill. Mm -hmm. See a lot of people kind of bail off right. Um, just because the only trouble's left if you have the power you can attack the pin but as you can see to the left there you know 40 feet 35 feet from the from the pin if you leak a little bit you could God. be catching some penalty strokes here i am i'm gonna put, put a little pop on it and try to you know i was playing for probably circle's edge to the right and if it got a little closer which luckily it did a little bit mm -hmm. you know you're happy with that yeah, that's the slide you want to miss on, right, with that OB over there. Exactly. Yeah, beautiful throw through your D2, and that was uh, Rijo. That's up yeah, there. We, yeah, that's a really good really good play, and with the way that he's been putting this tournament, you know, I'm guessing he'll probably give that a run. Yeah. Here's Albert. He's got a lot of power, man. Um, super cool to get be able to play with him. Young, up-and-coming com player from Estonia. Nice. And he did the mistake that you really don't want to do, which is missing left, and he ends up taking a penalty stroke there. Oh, I hope he can salvage a par. That was Cristo getting it up there. Should uh, should par easily, if nothing else. Good luck. Uh, yeah, this is a, a definite link style course. You know, lots of OB everywhere. Uh -huh. Play, placement golf. It reminds me a lot of of maybe like uh, Eureka or something like that. Okay, I feel you there. It seems to be pretty popular in, in uh, Europe. A lot of OB. Yeah. Yep. That was an upshot there. From I believe Rio Al and Albert, thank Al you. Yeah, Albert trying to, to save uh par there, but he's gonna have to settle for bogey. And uh for a stroke on the cart here, Paul. Yeah, I get a good catch there, you know, a good way to start the round. Yeah, man. Um getting, you know, two on Albert. He was he was closest to me, so I, I got a little bit of a cushion to start off. Yeah, I think you only had one stroke lead going into the, the final round here. Yep. Uh, and these guys are just cleaning up their pars. Man, a lot of good young talent in Europe these days. Yeah, it seems like, you know, I say this a lot, but these days they're making them younger, taller, <laughs> <laughs> with a lot more power. It's it's scary, man. <laughs> they're coming. Seriously. They're coming for you guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not. It's often. Nowadays, that I'm not only the oldest on the card, but the shortest as well. It's got to be funny. <laughs> hole, yeah, hole two, par four, 591 feet. This is an awesome hole, man. Um, when it's windy, it plays super tough. You have to throw about a 200 foot shot to a landing zone and then have, uh, you know, about a 350 foot shot into this super, um, super uh, technical green. Mm -hmm. If you have the power, though, and it's not as windy, you can do what I'm going to try to do here, which is go over and oh, okay. kind of flex an Annie. You can actually get to the pin by doing this. Really? Uh-huh. Wow. What were you throwing um, there? I threw a, D, a really flippy D3, and here's that play that I was talking about. Okay. Where he's just trying to land to the la or throw to the landing zone and then and then pitch down. And uh, he's trying to do, do the, the over-the-top play, but it looks like it might flex out on him. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I can see it on, over there on the left. It's an uh, awesome risk reward hole, though. If you actually mm -hmm. go really hard at it, you can even go OB kind of by the pin. Really, Albert? Al yeah, Albert gets this one over nicely. Um, it's going to be interesting to see his result from that. Uh -huh. Looking at Cristo's second shot. Yeah, and that looks pretty good. I'm not sure if he caught any foolage on the way in. Like I said, the. Mm -hmm. um, here I am kind of going over those bunker trees. You see the OB surrounding those trees on the left, and then you have a little opening, and then the OB surrounding the trees on the right. So, and OB deep. That looked good, though, this right? This is his drive. This is, is Albert's drive. No, it's drive. not, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. He was wow. safe. He, he cleared the OB. That's incredible, man. Oh, Cristo missing the putt there for his birdie, I believe. 
Yeah, a little miscue. Yeah. And Paul for your bird. Well, yeah, it's kind of the same putt I had on the first hole. I just got the lucky catch on the first hole, so. Yeah. I remember feeling a little bit nervous thinking to myself, you know, I could really put these guys away if I could just birdie, like, every hole. Uh (laughs) (laughs) I wanted to play aggressive, you know. I wanted to play really aggressive and have a good final round here, but obviously I let one get away. That's right. I feel like there's probably a lot of parts in that hole. You know what, Ian? It's not okay. Twenty foot. <laughs> <laughs> you got to make those twenty footers, man. You, you kind of, you probably should. <laughs> Albert uh, with an awesome three, though. He even missed the eagle putt right there. So. Yeah, he did. Uh, he played the this hole, hole really well. Hole three, par five, nine hundred and forty-five feet. This one was brutal, especially when it got windy. That you know, people were taking nines, tens, twelves. I think somebody took a fourteen on this hole. Ob both sides. Um, you know, the right play, if you're right-handed, is throwing highs or over the OB the entire way, landing in a nice landing spot. Then kind of doing the same thing two more times. You'll see um, us try to navigate this super tight fairway. There's the green. OB left, OB right, OB deep, you see. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, this is a pretty brutal hole. It but is. an also awesome hole as well. Yeah, I like it. It seems like a cool design. Uh, we got Albert throwing that hyzer you were talking about. Yeah, and he, you know, he throws that one perfectly. Nice. Middle. Uh, I'm going to try to follow his route, and I do manage to put this one in bounds as well. Nice. Is that your D2 again? Yep. yep. You bag a D1 as well? I really don't. I The only D1 I have, I throw for sidearms. Okay, so that makes sense. Not really a backhand. <laughs> If I'm throwing backhand, it's either a D2 or X1 probably off the tee. Gotcha. Uh, that was a uh, Cristo right there. That looks pretty good. Yeah, and that's about 350 feet to clear the OB right there. Is it really? Oh, wow. Yep. And this is Rijo. A really good shot, you know. Yeah. Just right down the middle. So that pine tree, that's about where the OB is. So you got you got to at least throw it past that into the fairway. And if you go a little bit deep, you can manage to throw it out of bounds as well. So is that kind of like the corner you need to make right there? Yep. That, that pantry? Yep. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Christo? So he, like, for instance, he flips this up flat, and this one's going to be in bounds. Uh-huh. But it's going to be, I think, pushing that right side of the fairway. So you don't have, like, a lot of room to work with. Uh-huh. Especially if you get aggressive. But all these ones, I, I believe, manage to stay in bounds. Nice. Easier said than done on this hole. Yep. So, like I said, if you just throw the same shot That's every funny. single time, you're gonna you're <laughs> yeah. gonna get a birdie. It's three fifty, three fifty, three fifty. And there it is. Uh, Riho did it well, and you're going forehand. Forehand here. Yep. What's your disc of choice here? That was actually an X one. Nice man. That was beautifully done. Yeah, this is a really good birdie to get. You know, you get this one in four, and see, he's like oh, I said, yeah. he was pushing that right side. Sure was. But, you know, he he should be able to manage that putt for birdie right there. This is a really good get. Yeah, definitely. And Al Bear showing off that arm. Just had a little pitch up. But, unfortunately, farthest from the pin. Oh. Yeah, that was a little low. It, could, it was one of those, you know, yeah. probably 75, 25, 75% of the time it stays. 25, you get the little pop out. So, unfortunately, he was on the bad end of that one. Yeah, I did one of those per- this morning. Yeah, percentages, man. They'll catch up to you eventually. <laughs> they sure will. <laughs> it's a, this golf's fun like that, you know? You got to kind of play the percentages, know when you're going to make putts and miss putts. And, sure. Yeah, make good decisions. But for, for a lead card, that's a, those are really great scores. Four, four, five, four. Yeah. You're not going to see anything really better on that hole. We yeah. made it look really easy. Sure enough. All right, hole four. What are you doing? Hole four, par three, 325. Really, you just want to make sure you hit this gap. Um, You'll see once you get a better little camera angle that uh, it's kind of a narrow gap, and then it's pitched up onto the hillside. So, yeah, just hit this gap, and then hopefully you don't roll down the hill too far because it's on a steep incline. Are you going mid off the tee or fairway? I was doing fairway there. Yeah. Yeah, that was the new H... 
V1 that we, you know, HV12 that we just retooled. So I was really digging that um, nice. on my trip to Europe here. And he didn't really, he, like I said, you want to hit that first initial gap. If you do, you'll get rewarded, and he clips that left side. So uh, Albert looking good, though. Yeah, he was throwing mid range off of the tee. So that'll give you a little idea of how much power he, he has. And yeah, here. He's showing off the touch with the sidearm. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was really impressive. He's biting off your game, Paul, with those forehand upshots. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see a lot. You know, it's almost like a uh, lost art these days with how much power it people is. have. That not a lot of people are throwing the sidearm off the tee. That was a great putt right there. That was two good putts, in fact. Albert right before him. And yourself? Yeah, your putt still works, Paul. Yeah, you know, fit. <laughs> Or what is that, about 75% of the time now? I think so, yeah. <laughs> that's, your, that's your average so far. <laughs> it's my average in my career, 75% <laughs> in a circle. Not going to be the best, but give yourselves enough looks. Yeah. It looks like you got a, a two-stroke lead over Rijo, and that's going to take us into hole five. Hole five, par four, 715 feet. This hole is really great, man. You can see how scenic this is. You really can't, it really doesn't do the eye justice unless you're sitting there on the tee in person. But, uh, you know, you see the all the trees in the back in the background. This is a beautiful piece of property. Yeah, it is. You're going to want to throw, if you're right-handed, something stable off the tee that'll give you a little distance. Again, we're playing link-style golf, so, you know, it's a trending thing to have the OB left, OB right, land in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, I throw, this is what you want right here. You know, just barely got to flat and then kind of highs your left about 400 feet. I'll mm -hmm. have a pretty, pretty uh, unobstructed shot into the green. Nice. And you'll yeah. see everybody kind of follow through. Really, the only thing you don't want to do is go deep off the tee because then you can go out of bounds. Gotcha. So far, everybody navigating it uh, very well. Yeah. Like I said, this is actually a pretty. Uh, uh, you're you're kind of pitched up here, so you're throwing downhill a good amount, and it, it's hard to see with this camera. God, Christo rips on it, Paul. Yeah, he does. And this one, unfortunately, he might have ripped a little bit too hard. This needs to slow down. It's oh. going to be close. Oh, my. Yeah, it's definitely going to be close. So looks like we got Riho up first for the second <laughs> shots, and just looks like another hyzer. Yeah, and he hits oh. the pin. Whoa. That would have been sick. Yep. Still pretty good, though. Uh, what are you reaching for, for on your upshot here? Um, that was an A1. Okay. I wasn't really feeling the touch, so I just wanted something that I could hit pretty hard and not have to worry about going deep. Yeah, that's always nice. Yeah, we the, the, this in this day and age, we kind of get spoiled with those discs that only go 250 feet. The right? touch <laughs> it kind of goes out the door. Man, Seppo hooked up an A2. I absolutely love that thing, man. Yeah. Yeah, they were really nice. Super dependable. So we ended up making the judgment call that he was out of bounds. Okay. So that was his third. This is his fourth. Saves par, at least. Yep. And Al Bear, this should be for Birdie? Yeah. Figuring out what straddle he wants to do. Yep. Working with that little hill. Works out pretty good. It does. And you're cleaning up, bringing that average up to 80% now, Paul. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> I'm talking to the group right there. Dropping some sort of knowledge bombs on them. <laughs> I'm sure they all spoke English, right? <laughs> they do. Yeah, yeah got to love that about the Europeans. All right. Yeah, we, get, we get spoiled, definitely, going over there. Sure do. back guys thanks for dismania for sponsoring the coverage and we're looking at hole six ball hole six par three 295 feet this is actually a really sweet hole it's a tough gap right away and this m makes you have to throw 
almost a flex shot that huh. like flexes out and then finishes really hard at the end because of how uh you can see the angle like kind of pushes you to the woods and i and i actually threw this really well just threw it too hard <laughs> whoa yeah i went a little deep and i I actually thought to the group, I'm like, oh my gosh, I think I just threw it out of bounds. But those wooden stakes are actually in bounds. So. Oh, nice. So yeah, you're good. How's how's the putt looking over there? Uh, we'll see in a second. All right. Um, if I if if I went too far, probably no putt. But if I didn't go f- that far, then I'll have a look. Nice. Uh, Albert coming up a little bit short, but he'll, he will have a nice look. And... Right. So here's the mistake you see a lot of people make. You know, oh, it's yeah. Our, tough to get it turned over enough and you just kind of throw it straight into the trees he gets a good break though and kicks out yeah, that was a very nice kick out of the woods um, puts it chain high but just doesn't you know doesn't get it online but it was a pretty good bid yeah yeah i'll take his par at least that was uh Rio. he'll take a par as well and you're coming back with an annie putt which not like yeah i didn't have much no. that was that was good to get to where i was if anybody's gonna make an annie putt it's you but uh, that was even a little extreme. Yeah. Oh no! Sit down. How is that still <laughs> yeah, rolling? Yeah, that was brutal, man. <laughs> Looked like it just rolled on flat ground for half the time. Albert misses his comebacker. He's gonna bogey, unfortunately. Yep, and here's me cleaning up a little eight footer. That'll work. God, I make those eight footers look pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> Just cash. Just so cash, man. Get, yeah. get me to 18 feet, the whole different story. <laughs> it gets exponentially harder, as it feels like. Yeah. And we dropping in there. I believe that's going to be a bogey there for Albert, unfortunately, with that roll away. Yeah, not a very good average for us on, you know, 295-foot hole. But, um, you know, that, that says well for the design that they made there. Yeah. We are back to the action, and we are looking at hole seven, Paul. Hole seven, par three, 269 feet. Uh, you can see this roadway kind of up there. This, this defines your fairway. Uh, just kind of foolage left, foolage right. You can see the basket pitched up on the hill to the left, and right behind the basket to the left, there's going to be a, a super steep incline or a drop-off to Whoa. where you, you can throw a pretty good shot, but if you leave yourself a tester putt, you're going to have to earn it. All right, let's see what you got. What are you throwing here? That was that H1 V2 again, man. I was really loving it for this week for my gap shots and stuff, and I threw that, you know, as good as I could have. Uh-huh. I just I just really was wanting it to be a little lower so uh-huh. I could hit the hill and kind of skip up to it. You know, oh, that's probably the safest play. And I just got it a little too high and accidentally threw it past into that uh, slope that I was talking about. Super fast, Green. Super fast. And uh... here. Cristo? Oh. Doing the same thing I am, you know. You don't want to re- You know that's a safe play. If you hit the gap, you're gonna be happy because then you can just kind of pitch up guaranteed three. Yeah, true. Albert going for your play, but just a little bit too low. Yeah. And yeah, you wanna you wanna hit out uh the very top of it, like you know, if you get to the top that's only a twenty footer. Like he even has a putt from right here. Yeah, he does, huh? Uh, looks like he's just a little, I hope he was just laying up there. <laughs> yeah, we'll give him, we'll give him that. <laughs> and this is Cristo from the bottom of the hill. Oh, give it to him. Come on. He was deep, man. He was deep down there. He was, he was dark and was, buried, man. I was thinking, okay, I gotta lay this up, and then he makes his, and I'm like, oh, man, now I gotta take my time, like. You can't get big putted, Paul. No, I, you know, I died for it, man. I, I went all out on that one. And I told him afterwards, I'm like, dude, I was really going to lay that up. And you made me kind of get that stroke. That was a good putt, man. Yeah, I think both. that's what I'm telling them right now. <laughs> Did you hurt yourself, man? Yeah. You're kind of like limping here. So the, so the day before I was playing a 
or I was warming up on one of their practice, like, you know, and, and they had like a warm up area, uh-huh. with, like little part twos and stuff. All right, so you're you're on the practice screen or the practice yeah. field. Um, so hole eight here, par par four, two hundred twenty eight meters. Basically, you want to throw a gigantic turnover into landing zone, and then you'll have actually a pretty tricky up shot. Usually, right to left wind. If uh, you have a long enough sidearm, that's a play or you know a big turnover. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I was warming up in in practice, and I it was like kind of dewy in the morning, and I slipped on my left foot and I slipped into like a foot deep hole Ow. with my left foot and all my weight goes on it and I hear a big old pop you know Ugh, God. ankle injury or yeah. it was a knee injury really um, so yeah last I don't know what was it a year and a half ago I tore my MCL oh that's right in the off in the off season I remember and that then, Oh, look at this play with a nice roller. I like this play a lot. Yeah, that's creative. And so that, and so for the viewers, that le- that left hand side where those trees are, that's actually not out of bounds until oh. you get further up the fairway. So, um, it just ob ob right. But yeah, so I re injure it, man. I feel this pop, and uh, I didn't think I was going to be able to play even the next the next round. And luckily, there was a there was a physical therapist who taped me up and, wow. and it did wonders. And then of course I had, uh, some Advil. <laughs> those help. Opt a bunch of those. <laughs> I won't exactly say how many, but I had to do, I had to do a lot to play this round. I so. can imagine, man. Knee injuries are not fun. Yeah, no, I'm still dealing with it. Are um, you really? Oh man. Mm-hmm. So a lot of rehab and things like that, but uh-huh. that's just, that's just, comes with the job he doesn't get this really turned over as much as he wanted and this is going to kind of flex out to the left yeah it looked like it was just skied uh, this and is... this was a little bit out of my sidearm range so i went with a big big mid-range turnover here for me m4 that was m2 m2 okay so that's probably his four shot i'm guessing with an ob stroke for uh, Cristo, I'm, I think he was in bounds. Okay, that'd be nice. Maybe. Yeah, Al Bear. Um, wow, with a good putt and Rijo too. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I just barely made that one. <laughs> Super fast. When I look at myself, but I'm just like, slow down, man. What is this quick stroke looking thing you're doing? Uh huh. It's interesting watching yourself play, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you look pretty smooth, and sometimes I'm just like, "What are you doing out there, man? <laughs> Who are you?" Too funny, man. Uh, a lot of good birdies there, though. Yep. That was not an easy hole. guys we are back to the action and we are looking at hole nine what are we doing well, yeah hole nine par three 328 feet this hole i'm trying to oh yeah this is an island hole man this oh, is, is it? really tough yeah really tough island hole you're you're teeing off way above oh dang the green and you can see those stakes so you do have a layup area you can you can kind of lay up but nobody's gonna do that um <laughs> there is this high hyzer line if you have a really stable disc, you can go over those trees and kind of spike into the green. And I I end up getting the safe sign. I do get the safe sign there. Wow. And I'm pumped, you know, because this could be big strokes really fast. Yeah. Is there no drop zone? There is a drop zone down there. Okay. Um, but, you know, it's two-stroke swing if somebody else birdies it. So. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. And here he is. Uh, 
Rio with a nice drive right there. That's inbounds. Yeah. Albert, you know, we're all doing the same thing. The wind really helped with this shot for this round. A little bit of right to left. Mm-hmm. Albert, is he in? Looks He's like in. it. And Cristo? Cristo with a nice looking shot. And it looks like he actually Albert was out. He was. I must have skipped out. Yeah, it looked pretty good, but he he got the yeah, he got the X on that one. Huh. I'm just outside the circle here. Okay. But, um but inbounds, which is nice. Inbounds. Meh. That'll par. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Yep. I'm not Ricky Wysocki. I'm not supposed to make every one of those. So it's fine. We'll take par. That guy, man. Okay. That guy. <laughs> yeah. But I got a stroke on Albert. That, that's all. There you go. At this point. <laughs> exactly. You got a stroke on the guy that, that was trying to chase it down. Uh, yeah. Actually, it's Rio. Who's oh, really it is. He's at me hard. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's making moves. And he got a stroke on me right there. Yeah, and your lead is down to two, and we got nine holes left to play, Paul. Yeah, super exciting front nine. As you guys can see, that the, the link style is awesome for... Oh, well, we're done. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, thanks for watching this one, and we'll catch you in the next one.